Okay, we're going to start off by practicing lines, just straight lines. Normally when people draw a straight line, they, they'll do something like this, or it might be a bit wobbly. You've got to get a motion going here with the line. So it's an arm movement rather than a wrist movement. So what I want to do is I actually want to get the feel of a line by using my arm. I don't want to speed it up. You can go very slowly, it doesn't have to be fast. If I draw a square shape, I want it to be nice and rigid. And I want my lines to have this brokenness. You see, as I start off, I'm not sure. I'm using my arm. It's almost like I'm cutting a piece of wood. It's this motion going like that, then across. You need to be able to do it in any angle. Now this in itself is a difficult exercise and it takes time. If you've got a square like that, try and divide it in half. Go beyond the square. Don't stop here. Go beyond it. These are the kind of lines that we're going to use a lot in construction drawing. So these basic exercises will lead on to observational exercises and you need to have this technique. I hold my pencil just like I'm writing. There's no specific artistic way of holding a pencil. It's just like when you write. And this is the effect that we're after here. So you can do it with shorter lines as well. Groups of lines like this. Just practice them and then you can speed it up as you get confident. A lot of drawing we do in the beginning is with lines like this, just joining them up and observing shapes that fit into this kind of linear pattern. You can do as much of this as you possibly can. It's not going to be too much if you fill a whole page or two pages or three pages just with these exercises. What I could do now is just put a, a circle in I think I'm going to mention that now. If I put a circle in the square, I can actually divide this up just to help my eye. This would be a kind of a step two. And when you draw a circle, you can see that I'm all over the place. I can't control it. So what people want to do is they want to get down and they want to get all careful. But that doesn't help. You've got to feel for the circle. This point, this point, this point, and this point is where the circle must touch, not here. So we keep those points in sight and we swing round until we find that circle. The circle will emerge if I keep searching for it. You're going to want to control it, you're going to want to put your hand on the page. You're not allowed to put your hand on the page. Only the pencil point touches the page. Now this exercise is enough to keep you busy for a whole lesson. Just getting familiar with the pencil, getting to know your pencil, how to control it. You can see my circle is now starting to emerge. I can't draw a circle with one motion of my hand. I've got a feel for it. My eye will guide me as it coordinates with my hand. And now you see, we've got quite a nice circle.